Hi, my name is Evan Jenkins and I am a front-end developer here at ActiveLamp. We have several projects here running Drupal 8 and we cannot be more thrilled with what we're seeing. All the new features are very exciting. I am also very excited about the recent release of Foundation 6. It is easy to use and comes with a wide range of modular and flexible components. With 50% code reduction and the addition of Flexbox, front-end devs are sure to have something to be excited about. Recently, I opened an issue and a patch to the 8.x, 6.x branch of Zurb Foundation base theme that ports the layouts from the Drupal 7 branch that is using Foundation 5. Today I'm going to show you some of the steps that I took to create these new layouts using the layout plugin module and panels to create some Foundation 6 layouts. All right, here I've installed the Drupal 8 site that I got up and running using the Drupal 8 Quick Start. I have uh, generated a few different uh, blog nodes here using Devel, Devel Generate. So I'm going to go ahead and start by creating the happy layouts the YAML file. I'm going to name this foundation to call 84. Give it a label. Give it a category and a template key to tell where to look for my file. No need to include the html.twig there. Now I'm going to define my regions where I can place content into. I'm going to have a left with a label of left and a right label of right. Now I'll go ahead and create this file in the location that I said. So new directory. I'm going to call it layouts. Let's change that. Create the new file. Foundation to call 8-4 HTML twig. And since I'm building a foundation layout, I'm going to go ahead and open up a div with a row and then open up another div that will be columns of columns. Spell that right. We're going to have an eight column and then a four column. And since we defined our regions as left, we'll have content.left and then content.right in order to print out our variables in. Now let's go over here to our site. Flush the cache. All right, now we can go to Structure Pages, and let's build a new page called Blog. At the path of Blog. We're going to add a new variant of Panels. Use the in-place editor, and now we have our new Foundation 2 column layout ready for us to use. Save that, and we have a left and a right region. I created a uh, blog view, so I'm going to go ahead and place that in the left. And let's do powered by Drupal over in the right. Now we can view our blog path. We can see we have an eight-column, four-column layout. But what if we want to be able to add custom IDs and classes to each region? So go ahead and add a class key here, and we're going to go to Drupal Happy Plugin Layout, Foundation Layout, and let's create that in our source directory.
So here I've created the foundation layout PHP. Um, I've named it foundation layout and I'm extending layout base. Here I've uh, ran default configuration function. I'm going to return the parents default configuration but add my own here, CSS ID and CSS classes. Then I can run through and build a configuration form, add some forms, add the form with CSS classes, CSS ID, and then do a submit configuration and add those classes to this configuration. Now within my template, I'm able to take away this class here. Now I have attribute set attribute of ID coming from the settings, the CSS ID. I'm going to add the class of row that was initially there. I also give this a foundation of one column, or should be two column, and then gave it the setting for the CSS class. Make sure that I'm pointing the right area. So let's go ahead and go over here. Flush cache. Go back to our blog page, edit the variant, and now we can see we have classes and ID available in laid out layout settings. So I can give this any class I want. This class and my ID. Save that. Let's visit the blog page again. inspect see here we have the my ID and the this class as you can see it is pretty easy to write and customize the layouts using the layout plugin module have any questions let us know on Twitter or in the comments section and be sure to follow us on YouTube thanks for watching